I'm going to show you exactly how to use ChatGPT for SEO from A to Z. And don't worry, this won't be a bunch of generic ChatGPT SEO tips. Instead, I'm going to build an SEO strategy from scratch using a random website. I'm Nathan Gotch, the founder of Gotch SEO, which is where marketers go to get predictable number one rankings in Google. So the random site I'll be helping for free is onpointfresh.com. Let's dive right in. So the first way we can use ChatGPT is to actually grade our existing SEO content. In this example, I'm actually gonna take this one here, Tapered Middle Park, and we're gonna use a very simple prompt. So all of these questions here, I've actually pulled directly from Google's guidelines, but I've also made up a few of my own. And then I just pasted the content in. And then what it will do is it will actually grade the content based on this criteria that we have laid out. So what I did here is I just exported the entire sitemap from Screaming Frog. So I crawled their site, export it. And what we're looking at here are all the indexable pages on this site. And what I did is I just added these little columns so that now we can go through and I can grade these specific pieces of content, then prioritize those that are not really where they should be. The next thing I wanna do is we actually wanna optimize for expertise. And really what that means is we wanna make sure that all the content that we write on our site is written or fact-checked by a subject matter expert. Let's just start with the basics. And the first is obviously putting an author up here above the fold. And the second thing is, is creating an author box. And so what I did is I actually just pulled information from the about page and just did a simple prompt. Within a second, I have a nice little author bio I can use. I can show you what one really looks like if you wanna see my site. So what you're seeing right here is simply the product of this simple prompt. And then the last thing you'll notice is if you're on my actual personal brand website and you click on this little extension up here, you're gonna see that I have this about page schema, okay? If you click on this markup, you're gonna see this whole about page schema. And this is verified. I actually took this, ran it through the tools to verify that it works. And what this does just adds another level of depth to this page to help Google understand your site even better, build a little bit more trust. It's not gonna have monumental effects on your rankings, but we're talking about little, little changes that have compound effects, okay? SEO is not just a one-time thing that you do or a one-time action that leads to these outcomes. SEO is the product of many micro actions that compound with each other that allow you to drive rankings, okay? We're talking about many, many variables that, that drive performance and ranking. So good news is back in the day, you'd have to figure this out yourself, not anymore. You can just go right into ChatGPT, throw in this simple little prompt, and then it will create the exact code that you need to go and put on your site. So then once you have the code, you can just go ahead and paste it in here and validate that it actually works. Any content that you create, especially informational content, you should always look for opportunities to add external links into this content to add more trust. So I'd be looking for any opportunity to add at least one or even two external links into the content because I want Google to crawl this page and look at it as a resource. The point is that we're adding these little layers to increase the trust on the site. So every single informational asset you'll find should do this. And you'll see on Gotch SEO, I do this throughout. Right away within the first couple of paragraphs, I link out to Stanford, Google, and I link out to another Stanford-based article here, okay? So I'm linking out to these things intentionally. Um, I want Google to see that this is a resource. This is a very trusted page. And so the reason I'm doing this, I'm just trying to make that abundantly clear. So always look for opportunities to do that in your content. That's the first thing. Second thing is, is when we look towards the bottom, we also wanna find certain pages that I would consider to be trust pages. If you're creating content, like any type of informational content that's top of the funnel, you should also create an editorial guidelines page. What I do is I just put this little simple prompt in here. So, and then it will just produce this and nine times out of 10, it's good enough to just go straight on your site. This is just one quick way, once again, to add another layer of trust to the site. Uh, and there's so many different pages you can add to a site to you know, increase the trust even further. I actually analyzed tons of Fortune 500 companies to find all these different pages that they have on their sites because a lot of those sites, they have a lot of compliance related things that they have to abide by. You should really model what they're doing. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to use ChatGPT to actually help us create content on our website. So ultimately what we wanna do is on a site like this, we wanna build more topical authority, okay? And there's so many different ways to go about doing this. 
this. There's a lot of a lot of material to work with here, but I'll just show you what I like to do when I'm thinking about building more topic authority. So I'll typically just go into Ahrefs. I will set a filter here to show any keywords that are ranking from positions 50 and beyond. You're going to find that there's going to be a lot of intent mismatches. And so what do I mean by that? An intent mismatch is simply that the keyword does not match the ranking URL. Old money aesthetic and preppy stuff, not the same thing. All right. And you can always verify that just by clicking the SERP. And you'll see that when we look at the top results has nothing to do with old money aesthetic. So it means that no matter what you do with this URL, it will never rank for this keyword because that intent mismatch is completely off. So with that said, what I'll do is when I see that there is that intent mismatch, it's an indication that I need to create a new URL to support this keyword. Simple as that. And the one that I found is actually best beards for oval face. And you'll see that best beard styles for men is what's ranking this URL. So clearly not the right URL for exactly what we're going for here. So this is gonna be the keyword that I'm gonna focus on here. I'm gonna show you the hard way first. This is using completely chat GPT. And then I'll show you a medium level as far as ease. And then the third option, which is the easiest of all. And so we'll get to that one last. But let's start with the hardest one, which is just using ChatGPT to do this, all right? So what you're looking at here is a prompt. And this is part one. You're going to use this prompt to create a proper content brief that we can then feed into ChatGPT to create our article. Okay, so I put the prompt into ChatGPT. And now the last part of this is actually we're going to go here and we're just going to copy this whole piece of content. We're going to go back to chat GBT and we're just going to paste this in with the prompt that we've given it. And now what it's going to do is it's going to give us all the information we need about this particular keyword. Okay. And ultimately it's going to give us all of the most important keyword phrases that are not only the most relevant to what the core topic is, but also how frequently those things are mentioned, right? Because if they're mentioned a lot, then therefore it is an important thing that we also need to mention. So what we've done essentially is we've basically reverse engineered the competitors to be able to have the information we need to develop a very good piece of content that's gonna be hyper relevant. Okay, so now that we have the relevant keywords that are directly relevant to our core idea, we're gonna to wanna to use the second prompt. And so what we wanna do is we wanna get a word count. So this word count, I actually pulled from Surfer, but if you wanna use ChatGPT for this whole process, all you have to do is just copy the competitor's content again and put it into ChatGPT and, it, and just ask it to tell you what the word count is, okay? And then just repeat that for the top three competitors and you'll get a rough idea of what the word count should look like. Next is we're gonna inject the keyword here that we're going after. The next thing here is uh, number three is we wanna actually put those keywords that we did in this step in this section right here, okay? We're gonna put these keyword ideas that we found in this section and what ChatGPT will do when we do this it's gonna use all of these ideas to craft a very relevant article. So to get the headings, just copy this content and then put it into ChatGPT. And I just say, extract the headings out of this content. Okay, and then paste it in there. And then what it will do is it will give you all of the headings for this content. And then you can repeat this for the top three competitors. That way you have a nice kind of database of headings to feed into ChatGPT. And really this is basically our content brief that we're feeding into ChatGPT. And here's what it will put out. And it's pretty good, just out of the gate, does a nice job. And actually when I take this content and put it through Surfer, you'll see that without doing anything, it gets a solid 52. We haven't even hit the proper word count that Surfer's recommending. We haven't hit the proper amount of headings or paragraphs, and we haven't even injected the keywords in here. Now, the shortcut is to actually use Surfer stacked on top of ChatGPT. We're gonna go to the SERP analyzer and then just export these keywords out. So all I did here was I just pasted the keywords from Surfer right in here. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and do the headings as well. Now, the good news, you actually don't have to do that manually either. When you have Surfer, you can actually just do insert headings like this, and Surfer will automatically crawl the top competitors. And then you can actually just copy these headings and then we'll put it into the prompt. Copy this, now we're gonna go back into ChatGPT and we're gonna do this now with the, the revised method, which I, I'm calling is the medium speed method that we can do this. Okay, so this finished creating the content. So now what I did is it pasted it into Surfer. Once again, a really, really good start, very similar to the previous one. So really the difference between using the full ChatGPT process versus using ChatGPT and Surfer stacked together is just gonna be a matter of budget. If you have ChatGPT, GPT, and you have Surfer, you might as well use both because it's going to be way more efficient. But if you're just using ChatGPT, then you're going to have, it's going to take a little bit longer, but the outcome is going to be pretty much the same. You're not going to see a whole lot of difference between using one versus the other. It's just a matter of speed. The next one is obviously the fastest technique that you can use. And I've already published a video about this, but 
Surfer does have a new tool called the Surfer AI. So what you do is you actually go in here, you click write with AI, and then you put your primary keyword in there. And I think for a credit, it's about $28, I think for one. So you're basically paying 28 bucks for Surfer to do everything I just showed you, 100% automated, and ultimately you don't have to do any work really at all. And this is what it came up with without me doing anything. I didn't even touch this, just right out of the gate. I didn't have to do any prompts. I didn't have to do a bunch of research. I didn't have to actually even optimize this. This is just right out of the gate, a solid 82, and that's for 28 bucks. The point is, is like, if you have the budget, this is probably the best route because you can take this content and then this is your starting point. Now you can build upon this and make it better and better. Okay. It's not perfect, right? It's not perfect at all, but it is a terrific starting point. So those are really the three options that you have. Obviously just using ChatGPT purely will do the job. Using combo of Surfer and ChatGPT, once again, will definitely do the job. But just using the straight Surfer AI option as well, definitely worth considering. Let's talk a little bit about link building. Now there's so many applications as far as link building and using ChatGPT, but I just wanna show you one that is really the most awesome and really no one talks about this. You can actually use ChatGPT to help you create link bait. And link bait's really important. We wanna create things that are really linkable. So most of our backlinks are going to pages on our site that that actually deserve backlinks, right? We don't wanna be driving links to pages that don't deserve backlinks because it's just unnatural. So the simplest thing you can do is just do a very simple prompt like this and make sure you put replace this part with whatever your industry is. So all you have to do is just put this little prompt in here like this and we're just gonna pick any one of these. And now what's gonna happen is ChatGPT is actually gonna create all this code for you. It's gonna give you the HTML, it's gonna give you the CSS, and then lastly, it's gonna give you that JavaScript. So then all you have to do is just take this code and go into Word WordPress and then just download the WP Coder plugin and you can enter this code in here very simply. So you can just add new and then what you can do is you just put the HTML in, you put the CSS and you put the JS code in. Then as a result, if you've done this well, and of course it's gonna take some tweaking, the code's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have to work through it a little bit. But at the end result is you can actually have something like this. So this page here, I actually created 100% through ChatGPT. All I did was I just took the short code that I created from here and I put it in here and I added some content content just to beef it up a little bit. This is a solid asset now for my blog and it's already got some links. It's got some organic traffic and this is what you can do in your own business too. You can do this in any industry and I can tell you most people are not doing this. All right, so those are a few actionable ways you can use ChatGPT for SEO. Like this video if you got value and please subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.